goes, Mustang and here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so today, we are going to be testing out the GoBros. We just got their Easy A. I've done the initial showcase for them just to test them out in a slightly longer event, which is the kind of event that they uh, want to be in a little bit more so than an event like this. Um, but yeah, Zamasu. I mean, this is probably the worst event possible for them. Um... Obviously, this is uh, the new hardest event in the game, essentially. Uh, they have type disadvantage in the first phase. And he does AoEs that do uh, 500k base damage. Uh, not even factoring in type disadvantage or the extreme versus super uh, modifier as well. So, pretty terrible event for them. Pretty terrible situation. Um, now, we do actually have a fairly decent first turn. He's, un for, the, for the first time in a long time, uh, he's not AoEing in slot 1, which is pretty good. So, that means these guys are actually going to get to attack first, which is quite nice. Um, the only problem is we don't have a Goku on rotation, so they're not getting... Oh, of course we do. Uh, actually, wait, yeah, he's not called Kid Goku for GT, is he? So, he should be included, right? Because... It, unfortunately, when they give the examples of the Gokus that you can't use, it says Youth, Ginyu Jr., etc. I'm assuming GT Goku still counts, though, right? I actually don't know that 100%. Uh, they're starting off at 260k with Bulma support. Is that right for turn one? I mean, they get the 200% lead from the Boo Duo, but I don't know. That seems kind of low. I don't know if that is accurate, but... One thing I said I would do when I did this showcase is I do want to see what they're going to take on this first turn uh, without an item active. Um, I kind of wanted to see what the AoE would do if it was in slot one, but we'll go ahead and do this. I mean, this could be a decent turn. Like if they get a couple of super attacks off here, um, they might be able to tank the normals. I don't want to say well, they're not going to tank them for double digits, even if they get... I mean, their god turn is getting four supers, right? Because they get an additional in their passive always that has a chance to become a super. Then they get an additional attack that has a chance to become a super if there's a Goku on the rotation. And then there's the hidden potential. And each one of their supers raises defense for one turn. So for every super attack that they get, they're raising their defense by an extra 30%. Uh, hidden potential? Okay, so the Goku, that Goku does count, otherwise it's impossible to get four attacks. Um, 160k with no item active, and then the GT duo take 289, um, but they haven't attacked yet. So, I mean, I guess to be fair, against Fusion Zamasu, as long as they get to attack first, that's not that bad. Bulma support, two supers, 170k. Now, obviously, 170k is a lot, but we're talking about type disadvantage, um, hardest boss in the game. Um, you know, not the worst. I'm not going to say it's good, obviously, but uh, now we're going to go ahead and jump in and actually try it out with items here, see if we can get a uh, slightly better performance out of them. Don't be in slot 7. Okay, we've got a decent rotation for them on turn 2. That's not too bad. I think what we'll probably do, just to save on our overall HP, since they're on turn 2, I probably will just use the... Yeah, I think we'll just use the item straight away here. Now, if we lose enough HP, we are going to be able to get the, the GT duo are going to return on turn four, which means they'll be on the rotation with um, the GoBros. So that could work out quite nicely for them in terms of uh, getting that extra support if we're able to fire off the standby straight away. So... Let's go ahead and do this. We've got a lot of tech orbs here now as well for the GoBros, which is good. Their first turn is always going to be their shakiest turn because uh, of in terms of key, because they build up one extra key per attack up to plus five. Um, and of course they can, even if they're just normals, get four attacks in the first turn. So immediately on their second turn, they start to look a little bit better. Um, wait, did I actually use the Whis? Uh Yeah, I must have, because they wouldn't take that kind of damage from the AoE if I didn't. Um, oh, and the super counter from Kai Goku as well. Let's go. My one, like, thing I cannot wait for, right, for the as the result for the sync is that Global is not going to have to wait as long for the return of the, um, some of these units, right? Like, the Anniversary Part 2 Carnival LRs returned for JP for the Worldwide Celebration, but not for Global. Um, and I only have my AGL Kai Goku at 55%. And he is a very good unit, and he can still hang in some of these, like, 
new, you know, the dismal future red zone stages, but it definitely is a little bit more shaky for him when he's at 55%, right? So uh, I'm very much looking forward to him returning on a banner so I can actually get some dupes for him because he obviously works quite well with the Go Bros as well because not only is he a Goku to be on rotation with them potentially, but he also has all in the family, which is obviously a very good defensive link that they do have because a lot of these characters on their 200% leads that they're on, um, they share decent links with some of these really top profile like LRs, but not many of them are sharing all in the family. And then units like, you know, they're on Ultimate Gohan's 200%, right? Physical Ultimate Gohan. And they share all in the family with him, but he's uh, not a Goku, which is the unit that they want to be on rotation with in order to get their full buff. So we do have the item active here. We're at 232k. They're going to take damage from this AoE though, which is kind of scary. Um, we also can't get really any orbs for Goku. Yeesh. This is a really bad turn here. Because, I mean, if I get this, I don't even get the extra dodge chance with him, let alone not getting the guard. But then I'm going to be super low on orbs for the Gobros. So there's actually a really, really bad turn. Very unfortunate orbs uh, here as well. So not great this turn, sadly. But we do have the Whis active. I mean, God Goku does at least have type advantage. So if he's not dodging these hits, 66k though. And then they take 225. Oof. Yeah, it's uh, not great for uh, so many units in this event, thanks to these AoEs. Like, that's with a Whis active, and that's the kind of damage that we're taking. So, I talked about this in the Rainbow Showcase for the GoBros that I put out earlier, so I don't want to reiterate the entire conversation all over again. But it really hurts them being released at this time, like in this release window on Global, because they came out on JP before all the Worldwide Celebration content. So you could have measured their benchmark at a certain level in terms of their overall power. But then all of these Dismal Future Red Zone stages came out. And like realistically, they just won't be good in any of them. Um, and we probably die to this, right? Because, I mean, they tank the normals for double digits with the Wii Active, which is great. But then, you know, one of the new hardest hitting bosses in the game that has type advantage over them <laughs> drops the super. And yeah, 550k. So... Yeah, it's like if you want to use them in this event, not only do you kind of need to use items to uh, mitigate the AoE, but then, you I mean, you saw that situation. I mean, we didn't have any support on the rotation. It's not like it was their best turn, but like, yeah, even with a Whis active, that's them just getting blown away by the super attack. So, you know, we'll see how we go. I would like to get to the, uh, the final phase at least once um, in this run. We'll try. I mean, if we end up using all five attempts and we don't, this is one of those things, when it comes to certain showcases, like this one in particular, where we're showcasing a unit that we kind of just know is never really going to be super good in this event. Um, it's not one of those situations where I have to get a W, otherwise I can't make the video, right? Like, I do that sometimes if I want to do a video that is specifically, here's this team, like, you know, beating this event. Obviously, if I lose, I might cut and start again and not include that footage. But for this... I mean, it's pretty clear that this is just an event that is not very good for the GoPros. So if we end up using all five attempts in this little like recording session and we don't even get to the physical phase, the video goes up like that because there you go. That is a very realistic depiction of what happens if you bring the GoPros into the Fusion Zamasu stage. So as I was saying in that previous showcase, like they really need, um, I don't know, what's the big event, next big event that we're going to get difficult like content in, right? Um, Tanabata we already know for global because uh, it's been on JP. We do get the Omega stage, which the final stage is in. And I can't remember which phase it is. He has AoEs. So not really great for them, although it is a bit of a longer event, so they can build up. Um, and then after that, I guess Heroes. Will we get a new Heroes red zone or will they add stages to the existing Heroes red zone? Obviously hard to say. Um, if we get an event that is a bit longer and the final phase boss is AGL, then these guys definitely could have a place potentially in that event, right? But, I mean, the Worldwide Download Celebration, um, Dismal Future Red Zone, three of the main bosses have very strong int phases. Stage three is uh, int... Was it actually, did Zamasu come before Goku Black? Uh, I actually can't remember now. I think it was, no, it was after. So stage three is Goku Black, who's STR and then int and hits very hard. Uh, then stage four is Int Zamasu, who then becomes Tech 
Rose and Zamasu. So obviously he hits really hard straight away as an int unit. And then yeah, we have this final one where he's in and does 500k AoEs. Like it's just actually crazy. And I mean here for example, you could argue that the play is to put them in slot 1 so that we can get... Um, wow. Wow. You could argue that the play is to put them in slot 1 because they're going to take a hit anyway and then at least they get their attacks off. But that hit in slot 1 could be a super. Um, I mean, if they're going to get hit once by the AoE, they might as well get hit here, right? So, uh, yeah, another not great turn for Key, though. Um, at least we can get the four orbs so we can get some extra dodge. As I was going to say, they should combine all of the physical orbs. So at least we are getting a decent amount of Key with you. And then... Can we even get... Is Bulma support 5? Are we going to miss the Bulma support? That very rarely happens. Um, yeah, 5. Damn. That is unfortunate. Well, there you go. Not a great turn here at all for <laughs> our boys. No support uh, now, essentially, because we didn't get enough orbs for Bulma. So, come on, dodge this. Yeah, okay. Whew. At least we got three orbs for Goku, so he got the extra dodge chance. Because even through a Whis, right? Like, we're not dying here, but he's taking damage from that. So, uh, yeah, a little bit disappointing. I mean, we have a Goku on rotation, so at least we're getting the full passive for the Go Bros here. Uh, the support as well from Bulma would have put them to 24 key, which obviously would have been very useful for them as well, because they get an extra attack uh, bonus. But, damn. Missing the support for Bulma, like I say, is something that does not regularly happen uh unfortunate but what can you do so <laughs> zero damage let's go okay we did it did some damage on the crit normal we did get three supers so we got the four attacks we got the hidden potential coming in clutch at the end there um but yeah we tanked the normals to double digits with the weiss active which is what we would hope for i mean at the end of the day i feel like we, this is going to become a broken record thing now whenever we do this event because items are so important i think in this event for certain units so i feel like we constantly have to have this conversation now about using items and whether it's good or bad or whatever like um i would i would say in one sense we would expect certain units especially with a weiss active to tank these normal attacks for double digits. But you have to remember that some of these bosses are getting to the point now where even with a Whis active, you're not tanking these attacks for double digit damage, which is kind of crazy. Um, so I think what we do here, we will finish off this turn. I just need to make sure we, we live. And I think we might have to use an item to do that. But if we do kill him this turn, it means we at least get the first turn of the physical um, Zamasu with the Wii still active for the Go Bros. But, I mean, doing this with no items would just be an absolute nightmare. I'm not going to use that yet. Um, we'll do this. And then we'll do this. So, yeah, we should, because we've got both the Boo Duo here, we should finish them off, right? Like, the number of supers they're going to get combined um, with the type advantage... Uh, we should be good here. Hopefully he doesn't super straight away as well. Good. So them getting these extra supers off, even if they get supered, they should be okay. But yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things, right? The Gobros are very firmly in that same category of units like in Rosé, um, where, you know, LR Cooler similarly kind of as well. I'm not saying they're exactly the same in terms of like power level and stuff like that, right? But they're a unit that can, on the in the right circumstances, dish out an absolute boatload of damage. But against some of the toughest bosses in the game, like if you don't have an item active, they might take damage from normals. And then even with an item active, they still die to a super, right? Like this in Zamasu, we saw him doing, what, 550k? Now, they weren't fully built up yet. But the physical Zamasu, even though he doesn't have type advantage over them, he hits even harder... Um, so I wonder what kind of damage he would be doing to them, uh, even through a Whis, potentially, right? Now, I guess if they are fully built up, um, and they get to super first, uh, in the Rainbow Showcase, we saw them get up to, what, around 450, 460? So then if they were doing four supers as well, they're going to be, like, over 800k defense at that point. Then you factor in a Whis, um, the Zamasu does, what, like, 1.7 million or something? <laughs> So you factor in a Whis, that's taking off like nine, eight, about nine, 800k, let's say. So that's 900k. 
And then with their defense, they're still taking 100k. So they're still taking damage with a Whis active against this guy, right? Potentially. I mean, we're going to find out now. But I mean, look at this rotation again. Like, I either have to completely just sacrifice UI Goku. Um, so I can do this to drop down these physical orbs. Or I get these three orbs so he at least has the extra dodge chance. But then where's the key for the Gobros? Although actually, I suppose saying that, I am going to do this, right? So they, he does give a lot of extra key as well as the attack support. Um, so I suppose I have no choice really, right? I have to do this. Then look at that. Look at that orb setup. We can get one orb, which fortunately does give them two key. But yeah, that is shockingly bad. So let's do that. Because the other problem as well is there are certain units you could run alongside the GoBros that can give some extra support to help that key like issue. But then those units, a lot of those units just get absolutely destroyed in this event. We didn't guard, so we're dead now as well. So now we don't even get to see the GoBros attack because of that terrible orb placement turn. So through a Whis, God Goku gets killed. We get the revival, and now we're stuck in this situation where... <laughs> oh, God, what do I even do here? Like, I guess we use this. And then... Do I, have to, I guess I have to float them off, right? And do this. I should do... Well, because I want them together. So I guess I could do that. But like... Yeah, this has been very, very... This run has been very unlucky in terms of like key and everything. So big yikes. Um, we've got no items now. So we're just going to have to rely on not getting destroyed by a super here. Uh, even Bulma taking damage on this rotation, pre-super. I guess one of our best hopes is that he super attacks AGL, Kai, Goku, and we actually counter. Because I think at this point, I don't think he's even fully built up. So with no item active, again, with mine being at 55%, it's very likely that he just dies to uh, a super from Physical Zanasu here. Alright, at least we take double digits, double digits from the normal attacks. I don't super the Boo duo. Oh, but he's actually going to, isn't he? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Don't do this to me. Because they're another unit that's in the same boat, right? Like, they can get off a ton of supers. They can build their defense up to a relatively good amount of just, like, raw defense. And then they get hit by a super by one of these bosses and you just die. So... Very, very unfortunate. Because they are very similar. Like, they're doing the same kind of thing, right? Putting out a bunch of super attacks. We're doing, like, anywhere between 12 and, like, 7 to 8 million on the additionals and things like that. Um, I mean, the GoBros with support, the amount of damage that they can get up to is pretty crazy. Um, so we could do... Hmm. If we do this... If we pick up the orbs for God Goku first... Then do this, so we get some orb changing. Please be actually good. Well, that was reasonable. So we can grab eight orbs for them now, so that's 24 key. So what are they up to now? I think they did four attacks on both turns, right? So eight attacks in, 374k. That's with support from the previous rotation from Bulma. And then three links active, like... Yeah, getting that all in the family. I guess Kai Goku probably is going to be one of their better rotation partners then. Because even though he's not sharing links like Super Saiyan, they're obviously going to be getting like Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, and then all in the family. Which is a pretty significant um, defensive link. But let's see what they do here. I'm intrigued to see. Worst case scenario is he supers as the first attack, right? Because I want to see what they will tank his normals for because as long as they soup well they don't even need to super right but as long as they attack twice their passive will be fully built up um oh no wait they didn't attack last turn did they ha <laughs> so no they've only attacked four times i did think their numbers were a bit low they didn't get to attack last time because god goku got killed and we revived which means we're on turn six and they've only attacked four times but 17 million attack stat pretty good we got 24 key so obviously we're getting the extra bit of a buff there as well um, but again, this is exactly what happened at the end of the previous, like, showcase. One super and all normals. Every super attack they do gives them a 30% defensive buff. And then look at that, 200k from his normal attacks. So I think, even with all the defensive power that he does have, Vegeta dies to this, right? Cool. 
Oh, so close. Okay, he is a beast defensively. We did pick up a lot of orbs. The more orbs you pick up, the more damage reduction he gets, right? Obviously. Um, is there any way I can not kill him this turn? There isn't, is there? Because we could get the family Kamehameha next turn and actually win, potentially. But... Yeah, I don't see that happening here, unfortunately. Um, I guess the only way I could do that... Nah, because Bulma will just do too much damage. And we've now got too many rainbow orbs. So I literally can't get... I can't not get the orbs for Bulma. So she's going to then support everybody. The, uh, the GT duo get way too much extra key. <sighs> Man. Well, plus we might just die. I, I should have put the GT duo in slot 2 then and just gone for the win. But... Yeah, we can't. I don't think we can not kill him on this turn. Because otherwise, next turn, we actually would have been able to get the family Kamehameha. And funnily enough, we would actually win. Despite <laughs> the previous rotation where we took 200k normals. Um, but yeah, there's no way we don't kill him on this turn. Or he kills us, right? So, a bit unfortunate. But yeah, go bros. I mean, is anyone surprised? Did anyone go into this video thinking, yes, cook? Can't wait to see the GoBros absolutely annihilate Fusion Zamasu. But if we've gotten slightly better luck, I mean, that turn they attacked four times and did one super. If even like two of those three normals were supers, not even all of them, we would have taken significantly less and then potentially survived this turn. But I think we're going to call it there. Uh, Go Bros, like I say, I, I like the unit. I always liked them when they came out. Their EZA just makes them a unit that will be good in longer events, which we did not get any of from the Worldwide Celebration. So it's just a very unfortunate time in the release schedule for them. So it is what it is. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Masked Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.